What's up everyone, and today I'm bringing a deck profile on my Prank Kids. Now I guess technically this is the first deck I'm doing a third deck profile on, as in I've already made uh, two previous deck profiles with this deck. I don't know, I just really like Prank Kids. I, I definitely say it is a favorite. It is because I really like the artwork of this deck. But before we get to the video, I'd just like to mention, subscribe, hit the like button, comment, yada yada. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. <coughs> first up, I run the uh, three Prank Kids Fancies, the three Dropsies, the three Lampsies, and the three Roxies. Now, all of them have similar effects to where when they're uh, sent to the grave via Fusion Summon or Link Summon of a Prank Kids monster, you can special summon a Prank Kids from the deck with a few requirements for it. Fancies, in order to, when it's uh, linked or fused for a Prank Kids Link or Fusion monster, you can send one Prank Kids card to the grave. Special summon a prank kids from a uh, deck. This one is gain a thousand life points to special one. Burn your opponent for 500 special one. And banish one from your hand. Draw one and then special summon one. So they're very good at replacing themselves. Which is uh, why this deck is seeing competitive play. That and the uh, new Link 1. Well, I guess technically not quite new anymore. Because it was out by the time I did the last deck profile of prank kids. But also run the... Uh, one, Lunalite Black Sheep. Lunalite Black Sheep, you can discard out of Poly. Originally, I ran this at like two, but I like Fusion Recycling Plant much better than uh, Black Sheep because uh, Fusion Recycling Plant, you can uh, add it from the grave or the deck, while Black Sheep is just the deck. I also run um, the three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring for Hand Traps, as well as two Effect Veiler. Moving on to the spells. I run two Prank Kids Place. Honestly, to me, Prank Kids Place is not as good as it used to be. Mainly because of the one reason you wanted it is to get an extra Prank Kids so you can start out with a, like a fusion for a Prank Kids fusion to kind of like start comboing off. But the Prank Kids Meow Meow Mew makes any Prank Kids a one card starter, essentially. So it's not quite as needed as it was before. Honestly, I like this uh, Field Center much better. I run three. Fusion Recycling Plant. This card is insane. Once per turn, now let's mentioned that is a soft once per turn, so if you have multiple, you can activate it multiple times. You can discard one card, add a poly from your deck or graveyard to your hand, and once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used for a fusion material for a fusion summon this turn, add to your hand. So it's a uh, pretty helpful and um, like recursion as well, as if you have an additional um, Pandemonium, but you can say you can also do some fusing during your opponent's turn. It's pretty cool. And I also run the uh, one terraforming to search it out. I run three. Prank Kids Pandemonium. Now that is the Prank Kids um, Poly, essentially, to fuse into a Prank Kids uh, monster. The one downside to using Pandemonium, though, is that it locks you into Prank Kids for the rest of the turn. But if you don't uh, use it and use like Poly instead, then uh, you're open to doing whatever you want with the extra deck. I also run um, the three polymerization. Originally I had this at like a uh, two, but now that I'm cutting down to black sheep and running like the mainly the fusion recycling plants, I decided to bump it up to three and it's actually worked out pretty well. I also run the one instant fusion because it's an instant rocket ride. I also run the uh, three pot of avarice. That's my draw power of choice because I don't want to run desires. That You, you don't want to run desires and you don't really want to run prosperity either. Mainly because you can really go through the cards in this deck quite a lot. But if you banish like uh, certain cards, or let's say you banish two fancies, for example, that's going to make your plays much more restricted. But with Avarice, you can just uh, shuffle it all back into the deck. And, you know, getting five cards in the grave is very easy in this deck, so that's not a problem. Also on the uh, one Monster Reborn, the one one for one, because fancies is level one. They call it better grave because you don't want to get hand trapped. And an upstart goblin. This is what I took out the second copy of Black Sheep for. Moving on to the traps. I run two Prank Kids Plan. Now, Plan essentially allows you to link someone during your opponent's turn, but you don't really use it for that. You mainly use it for the effect of uh, send this card, banish this card to send any number of Prank Kids cards in your grave back to your deck, and your or it activates whenever your opponent's monster declares an attack, and then your opponent loses 100 attack for each card shuffled back to the deck. So let's say you don't use Pot of Iris. And let's say there'd be situations where I'm returning 11 to 17 cards back to the deck, which uh, can be kind of uh, 
I guess kind of clutch in a way. Moving on to the extra deck. I run three Mau Mau Mew. This is your starter. The effect is good, although the main reason that you run it because the fact that any of the Prank Kids monster, when they're linked or fused for a Prank Kids monster, link or a fusion monster, they special summon a Prank Kids from deck. So all you really have to do is open with at least one Prank Kids. So let's say I normal Prank Kids, link into Mau Mau Mew, Mew. Effective Fancies, special, then link two. So it, it literally turns this deck any Prank Kids monster into a one card starter. That, and it has the additional effect is uh, when it's in the grave and you uh, tribute a Prank Kids monster to activate its effect, you can banish this card instead. So the Prank Kids monster will remain on the field. Also on the two Doodle Doodle, oh, Doodle Doo. That's a fun name. Doodle Doo. When it's Link Summon, you can add a uh, Prank Kids spell trap from your deck to your hand. Usually you add Pandemonium. But it also has an additional effect to uh, tribute itself to add two Prank Kids cards back from your grave to your hand. I run the one Bow Wow Bark. Bow Wow Bark is essentially Doodle Doo during your opponent's turn. So you can like add them back during your opponent's turn. I also run the two Prank Kids Rip Roaring Rooster. This is a, uh, it, it's a Harpy's Feather Duster, essentially. That's the easiest way of putting it. And when it's destroyed by a card effect, you can um, add, you can add one non-link monster from a uh, grave to hand. Next, I run the three rocket or two rocket ride. Rocket ride, you contribute it to a uh, special summon two prank kids monsters from grave. Which uh, so let's say you fusion summon it, then you activate the effects of the two prank kids you use for its fusion to special summon two more. For example, let's say you fuse dropsies and fansies for rocket ride. Then you can uh, summon a roxies and lampsies, and then tribute it to summon. And drops, and then you can immediately go into a uh, Warren Rooster or a Battle Butler. Now, I also run the uh, Prank Kids Weather Washer. It's a rocket ride, but during your opponent's turn. Same with like the uh, Doodle Doo and Bow Wow Bark. I also run um, the two Prank Kids Battle Butler. It's a Rageki during your opponent's turn. And uh, if this card is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can um, special on one non fusion monster from your. Grave. Now for the non prank kid extra deck monsters. First one is Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. Uh, I still say that one is probably one of the longest names. Super Rail Cannon Gustav Max, you can uh, detach material to burn for 2000. So let's say the Battle Butlers and Ron Roosters are not enough to finish it. This will finish it off for you. And lastly, it's actually a card I recently uh, I actually saw someone else use with them. I'm like, you know what? It, it's actually, it actually works. You're not going to go into it too often often but there are going to be scenarios where you can use it and that is totally awesome because dropsies is a level two honestly i never really paid much attention to the levels for the most part because you don't really aside from like fantasies the levels don't really matter too much but it is something you can do so that's it for my prank kids deck well you know do you think it's a pretty cool deck do you think it's a like a tier two rogue deck or something like that let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next video make bye